Hi everyone, it's Kayla, and today I'm going to show you um, what we're making for our meal prep this week. It's going to be some sautéed chicken and mixed vegetable cauliflower rice. So stay tuned, and right, I'll show so you. So right now I have some um, coconut oil heating up in my pan. I'm going to start um, cutting up my chicken so we can get that cooking, and then we'll get working on the cauliflower rice. So this is just chicken breast. If you prefer chicken thighs, you can certainly do that. Um, you may just wanna cut off the extra fat because they can be a little bit fatty. The chicken I'm using today is, um, it's called Purdue Harvest Land Fresh Chicken Breast. So it's all natural, no hormones. Um, vegetarian diet, cage-free, no antibiotics, that kind of stuff. You want to always try to use a good quality meat just because you don't really need the extra added chemicals and toxins and don't really want to be eating sick animals. Um, plus when you're buying good sources you get a lot more nutrients out of it because they're fed better, they're taken care of better so they're not stressed out and you're just not getting a lot of junk added to what you're eating. Okay, so I'm just seasoning the chicken now. So far I have garlic powder, salt, um, that's Himalayan salt. You can also do sea salt, um, parsley, and oregano. And I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric powder. Okay. While that's cooking, we're going to get the vegetables starting to saute in the other pan there. I like to start with the vegetables that are going to take the longest to cook. So that would be um, sweet potato. Um, I'm gonna grab my spiralizer and spiralize these up. And then we're gonna chop up some asparagus, bell peppers, carrots, garlic, ginger, and add our spinach and cauliflower after the other vegetables. I'm back, and this time I have my precious daughter, Lily. We're gonna spiralize some sweet potatoes now. And she's gonna show you how to use the automatic spiralizer. So go ahead and turn it on, Lily, right here. Um, the ribbons here. You can really do either um, like the pasta or the more like fettuccine thicker noodles. I'm doing the ribbons today just to try something new Daddy, and mommy, just get a bigger mommy, piece um, that's not going to get like super Don't mushy try, in there. Mommy. Go ahead baby. Vegetables. We lost one. 
Next we're going to chop up our asparagus, so I just, this is baby asparagus, I just rinsed it, and we're going to chop it up now. Baby carrots. Baby carrots. Oh, sorry, honey. Hey, Lily, what are we going to cut up next? What are we going to cut up next? Um, get carrots? Yes, carrots. Carrots, okay. Taste okay? Mm -hmm. They taste okay? Chicken is done. We're going to load up the pan with another round. Okay, again, we're doing garlic powder over the top. Got our Himalayan salt, oregano, and parsley.
So now I'm going to chop up six baby bell peppers and add those to our pan. when you know you love vegetables when your pan is like over chopping up a whole head of garlic and then I'm going to add um, the raw baby spinach to the sauteing vegetables as well okay so our chicken just finished up I'm going to take my riced cauliflower and I'm just going to throw it in the pan that the chicken just finished cooking in so it pulls up all that yummy flavor from the chicken I still have my vegetables sauteing in the other pan. Those are pretty close to being done. And then when those finish, we're gonna mix it all together. So the only thing I'm gonna add to the cauliflower rice for right now is this ginger paste. probably like two tablespoons. Um, more garlic powder and salt. And since that's frozen, I'm just gonna cover that and let it cook a little bit um, before mixing everything together. Okay, so our chicken just finished up. I'm going to take my riced cauliflower and I'm just gonna throw it in the pan that the chicken just finished cooking in so it pulls up all that yummy flavor from the chicken. I still have my vegetables sauteing in the other pan. Those are pretty close to being done. And then when those finish, we're gonna mix it all together. So the only thing I'm going to add to the cauliflower rice for right now is this ginger paste. It's probably like two tablespoons. Um, more garlic powder. and salt. And since that's frozen, I'm just gonna cover that and let it cook a little bit um, before mixing everything together. I'm just gonna add a scoop of this turmeric powder to the cauliflower rice, it's almost done, and then we're gonna add our vegetables to it. Rice is done. I'm just going to add the other mixed vegetables to it and stir it up and then that's your product for the mixed vegetable cauliflower rice and our sauteed chicken. Now you can chop up all the chicken and mix it in with the cauliflower rice and vegetables at this point too. Um, I like to measure out my protein so what I do is um, I just weigh out four or five ounces of chicken at a time, chop it up, and then I'll mix it in with my bowl um, and then prepare that in Tupperware containers so I know how much protein I'm getting. Um, if you don't care, then you can chop it all up, mix it together, and then it's already ready now to you go. you can chop up all the chicken and mix it in with the cauliflower rice and vegetables at this point too. Um, I like to measure out my protein, so what I do is um, I just weigh out four or five ounces of chicken at a time, chop it up, and then I'll mix it in with my bowl um, and then prepare that in Tupperware containers so I know how much protein I'm getting. 
Um, if you don't care, then you can chop it all up, mix it together, and then it's already ready to go. That's it for today's meal prep video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you try the recipe, please comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on it. And as always, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.